Well, let's look at the bot. The way, you know, when you're born with things, you can't help it. Seems to be sometimes a preset limit. You always had to live with this limit for a while. But what I was realizing is, even as I stand right now, I'm not, not strong enough mentally. I mean, there's moments where I was, but I need to go the next couple years, become more better off, handle myself. Absolutely. It's it simple. Not one bit. Because when getting help from others, it's nice and open. It's good to stand firm and focused. If you don't stand firm and focused, on your own, life is made easier by being stronger in the self. Really, the self is the salvation. Pretty cool. I want to see myself do better all the time. I don't want to see myself struggle, even though I've been living this way. The past four years were a success financially, but there was a lot of problems due to the hardship of my family, the mental part. But now for the next couple of years to get it assured and try to go more towards being more able within my own family, you know, me being able to help, but being able to help in a greater way, it's going to be the most important. But sometimes even the challenge of your own life being at risk doesn't remove your fear, it sometimes increases it. So I'm going to have to think of the most smartest ways to be able to get past. If if I give up just because I feel horrible, then it ends everything. That's why I can't give up, no matter how miserable, how terrible I feel. And there's moments where well, I'm not even, I don't even feel like I'm conscious of the way. I'm just kind of out of it because of the struggles. I put myself in it. But there is a way. There's always got to be a way. Even when making it good now, the future always hangs in the on the overview, you know, it's still the same way. I'm, I'm happy to be able to, to continue my needs and things. I just want to record and learn more about life and write the ways. It's still the same thing. But I think that this time around getting the assistance was a lot more broken up, less successful. My family was fighting. I was trying to bring them together. Doing teamwork. Doesn't always work all the time. People are always in disagreement over something. But none more worse than when it comes to survival. Life is not going to be made easier by that. But, you know, I know I have family members, you know, I have a, a mother that pretty much marching to doom without my intervention and stuff so I managed to prevent it if I gave up in the future because of my fear it only gets worse I get scared that such thing is like oh you're defeated and you, you know it's over it's a horrible thought to think that you know that you can make it and you still fell you mustn't fail no matter what no matter how many days I could imagine like three or four years to grow I mean I'm going to need to start feeling less reluctant. I've already begun to feel more determination. But due to these issues and botherments, you just want to... Something in you doesn't want to. So it's more so will and survival and care that makes you want to go on. More than anything. It's because you love your life. That's why you live. Or you don't want to suffer. I always wondered why, why this beautiful world had to become so scary in the first place. Mentally and physically to be hindered by the approach of it. I don't like life sometimes. It sucks because of the sufferings. But you know, look at the way you live. You live in a wilderness even though you live in the cities. Maybe because the thought of no one helping anyone that falls through the cracks in the bottom. Even in homelessness. Don't give people enough help. 
maybe if there's something that felt like an overall safety, something a mental grip, come together more better. I definitely think that. Just take a look. Think about it. What kind of life is this? Just being thrown into it. The answer is loving it, but that mental grip is, is everything. Without that mental grip, it doesn't, nothing matters. Everything is irrational without that mental focus. Even now, I feel like I've failed. But I've also succeeded. I know that I will really have succeeded when I feel calm, being away from my comfort zone, being able to feel calm that you're who you are. That's the ultimate goal. Even with peace, one can take it for granted, push themselves mentally. Breakdowns happen because of mismanagement of the mind. Yeah. Oh, I have your shoes in the backpack. I have two other pair that asked me. Can Which kind of size is those? Uh, I don't remember what size. Why? Were they too big or? Well, Mom was saying that they were about a size eight, actually. What size does Ashley wear? I'm not sure. So far, those fit her, so she could sit fit around maybe eight or nine. Yeah, these other ones are bigger, they'll fit her. Oh, where will you be moving again when you said that you would be moving oh, to Winter Bowl? We are moving to, it's about an hour, 45 minutes from here. What's the name of that? Um, Park Rapids. Place. Oh. Minnesota. Nice so of you. I might move back. I don't know. Sorry. But for now, this summer, I'm moving to Park Rapids. Yeah. Sounds good for you. Yeah, I need a break. People <laughs> 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 are supposed to drive me crazy. <laughs> Due to my anxiety, is hard. I wonder how I will learn that. Does social services give that? Where they like have someone who will drive you back and forth for that uh, day? I think that maybe the taxi cabs would, and I think they would pay for it. I'm not sure. I'll I'll have to a, do it have to you look. might have to call them and ask them. Yeah.